wouldn't it be nice to have an instructor or a guide next to you every time you are painting? And these guys and guides are always available and I am going to show you how. Sit in a comfortable position. Make sure you sit relaxed in a relaxed position. And I would like you to close your eyes so you can see this video inside your mind. And I would like you to try and connect up to source, to the universe through the top of your head. Imagining that you're having some light coming in from the universe down through the top of your head, through your crown. And you imagine beautiful light flowing from the universe in through your crown, down through you and into the center of the earth while you are breathing gently, slowly, deeply and rhythmically. And you let the energy come from the center of the earth back up through you, up through your heart, up through your body, up through the top of your head, through the crown, and back up to the universe. You take, keep on breathing the energies from the universe in through you, down through the center of the earth where it turns and comes up through you again. And you breathe in. And you breathe out. And if you feel any tension in your body as you breathe in, you tense that area up. And as you breathe out, you let it go. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Focus on the top of your head, on the uh, crown chakra, at the top of your head, and feel the connection to the universe and to yourself, to your higher self. And then you ask your higher self to send down a sphere of light to surround and protect you. This light could be any color. Just take note of the colors as your higher self will send you the color that you most need to bring you into balance. Visualizing yourself sitting in an empty chair. Now ask quietly inside yourself for your creative guide or master to come to you and help you now. you become aware of a brilliant light forming in front of you. It grows larger and larger and finally takes form as your creative guide or master. Invite the guide to sit in the chair in front of you. Feel the compassion and love radiating from your guide and you open your heart to your guide, master, and mentally tell the guide about any and all concerns you have about creating, painting, creativity, play, or any other part of your life that you feel that you need to ask your guide about now. Be open to listen and to receive the insights and wisdom from your guide and what he or she is giving you now. Be willing to open up completely and listen to what comes back. Now you asked your guide and you've had an answer coming back. Now be willing to put into practice what your guide or master suggests to you. 
You can ask at any point in time after this and be prepared to listen to what comes back. The answer is what comes first into your head. And rest, rest assured that you can ask anytime, anywhere you are. Now thank your guide for valuable advice. And slowly, slowly, come back into your body awareness by wiggling your toes, stretching your fingers, your arms, your legs, and when you feel ready, you may open your eyes. <sighs> your guide is always there. There's always somebody there. It's all available. So maybe you need to sometimes maybe just step back a little bit and ask for that advice. You know, take a deep breath, step back, ask the question that's really deep inside and be prepared to listen to what comes back before we move on. This works with painting, it works with other aspects of life.